Hello kids and welcome back to another English class. In the lesson of this week, we're going to start with the new unit, that is unit number four. I'm Miss Jocelyn Flores and let's begin with the lesson. So, for that, of course, you will need your got it book. Okay, this is a starter. And you're going to open your got it book on page Admittedly, I'm going to say it on page 38, okay? We're going to start with the last unit of this year, that is unit number four, okay? We're going to try to remember a little bit of the story, okay? I am going to make a sum up here. Here we have Jacob, okay? Remember Jacob? This is a very famous soccer player of the story. Then we have Sophie, and she is Jacob's sister. And finally, we have here Lucia, okay? Remember that Jacob is in love of Lucia. And here we have the teacher, the, the choir teacher. And this unit, it's called Whose Music Is This? Okay, so let's begin with the first exercise. What, were, what you are going to do in this first exercise, you are going to try to read and listen to the story, okay? In order that we... With the end of the story, we can answer the question that we have. Who is a, is a new member of the choir? That is the big question that we need to answer. We have three options. Letter A, Lucia. Letter B, Sophie. Or letter C, Jacob. Okay. I am going to play an audio. You are going to try to follow the text. For that reason, you are going to set, you are going to do sorry, two actions at the same time. Try to pay attention because I am going to play the audio. Unit four, page thirty-eight, exercise one. So Jacob's your brother? Yes, unfortunately, I have a sister. Lucky you. This is her picture on my cell phone. Look! She's pretty. Hey, look! There's Jacob. Oh, no! Jacob? Why are you here? I'm here for choir practice, of course. But choirs are boring, Jacob. Remember? Shut up, Sophie. What's that? It's our music. Whose music is this? It's Lucia's. Ask Mrs. Gray for some music, Jacob. Okay, guys. Be quiet, please. Hello, Mrs. Gray. I'm new. There isn't any music for me. Don't worry. Look at Lucia's music. One, two, three... Hey, this is fun! You're a good singer, Jacob. Thanks, Lucia. The choir's cool. But what about Max and soccer? Okay, boys and girls, now that you already read and listen to the story, I hope that you understand, I don't know, maybe a 50% or it's going to be much better if you understand the 100% of the story, the complete text. What we're going to do now, we're going to try to find these four words that we have here. Lucky you, be quiet, please don't worry, and this is fun, okay? And we're going to try to, to find the, the correct definition according to the text and the situation. So, I am going to use this pink marker. And we're going to start with the first word that is lucky you and we have it here okay so you're going to underline the word and you're going to write the definition in spanish the word lucky you in spanish it means and according to this situation it means suertuda okay or suertudo now let's continue with the second word that is be quiet please and that word is over here. I am going to try to find it. And it's here. Be quiet, please. This kind of phrase, I use it a lot in classes. And has to be with, I have a synonym for this word that is silence. OK, 
okay so be quiet please it, it's going to be the same as silence or shut up so be quiet in Spanish will be silencio por favor then we have the word don't worry that is here don't worry and related to the situation the word don't worry it means no te preocupes and finally we have the phrase this is fun and this is fun it means that esto es divertido in spanish okay so now that we already have the words we check it we find the definition in spanish or the translation in spanish we're going to focus on this question who is a new member of the choir okay maybe you can find keywords for example new and you have it here for example i am new so what is the correct answer for this question i am going to use purple to find the option the correct option and is jacob because lucia and sophie are already in the choir practice but jacob it's the new so you're going to underline the correct answer what we're going to do then, we're going to do exercise number two, okay? I am only going to read the instruction because we're going to, to do the exercise on online classes and it's about comprehension. Are the sentences true or false? Correct the false sentences. Let's pay attention to the example. Lucia and Sophie are at choir practice. That is correct or wrong true or false okay it's true so if the sentence has an information that is false you have to correct the information okay then we're going to work on this part that is exercise number three on page 38 sorry 39 and says write sentences in the correct order what you're going to do here you're going you can use the text to help you so here you have four sentences but we need to order it in the correct form it says she's pretty i have a sister lucky you and this is her picture my cell phone look so i have a sister if if this exercise is very difficult for you use use the text so here it says i have a sister what is the other sentence Ah, lucky you. So, here you're going to write number one, the phrase lucky you. Then, what is next or after lucky you? This is her picture on my cell phone. Look, here in number two. And finally, she is pretty in number three. So, you order the ideas or the sentences of the situation of the story. Okay, that is exercise number three. Then, we're going to work on pages i am going to take that over here on page 40 and we're going to talk about possessions okay we also are going to work with vocabulary in this opportunity so what you're going to do here you're going you're going to only identify the correct name for each picture so the instruction says the following match the words in the box with the pictures listen and check then listen and repeat so here you have all the words the only thing that you have to do is pay attention to the photograph and write the correct name for example this is an mp3 player what is this and you find it here ah skateboard so you write it here skateboard okay i am going to then in online classes of course we're going to listen and check the exercise and we're going to work on the pronunciation too after that that exercise we're going to focus on exercise number two and this is um listening so here you have to complete diego and carla's list of their five favorite things now i am going to play the audio and you have to write what are the, the five favorite things of Diego and my top five favorite things of Carla? Okay, here you have an example laptop. So try to pay attention because I am going to play the audio. 
Unit 4. Vocabulary. Possessions. Page 40. Exercise 2. Hi, I'm Diego. These are my top five favorite things. Number one is my laptop. It's great. Number two is my guitar. Number three is my game console. It's cool. Number four is my digital camera. Photography is my hobby. Number five is my skateboard. Hi, I'm Carla. These are my top five favorite things. Number one is my tablet. Number two is my cell phone. It's new and it's awesome. Number three is my watch. Number four is my MP3 player. It's cool. Number five is my bike. Okay, excellent. If you need to listen one more time or as many times you want, want you can rewind the video and listen it again. Okay, it's, I think that it's not proper that I repeat it every time the audio so you can rewind this video and listen it again okay kids i hope that you understand uh, everything and if you have doubts questions sorry remember that all your doubts and questions are going to be answered by me in online classes or you can write me an email so have a great week and see you next class bye bye